Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your October um, general reading. I think it's a general reading. Whatever comes up, comes out, right? Um, let's get into it. I, I've been, so I've been shuffling off camera and you're the only sign that I felt like I needed to break down the men and the women, the energy. So let's get into that. All right. All right. Okay, so let's see what's going on with my cancer women. I know that there's a lot of change in the air. A lot of cancers are fed up. A lot of cancers are trying to make changes. Just we'll be going into the 10th month. Tens are about endings, the culmination of whatever that may be for you. Let's see where my cancer women are. The three of pentacles. You may be in a relationship, in a partnership, where you may be doing all of the work, where you may be trying to do all of the building or the rebuilding. There might not be a lot of sexual activity, energy, there may also be someone else here in that in this relationship this is an affair yeah two of cups at one point it was some of you are rebuilding reunion coming back together you may be taking on the brunt of, of uh, the coming back together it could be with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Seems like you have the plan. Yeah, Queen of Cups. You have the plan. You're open to love. You're open to giving your cup. You're open to the exchange. But there's something about money. Um, somebody's habits. Work ethic or lack thereof. Something that is hindering you guys really having something solid. You guys coming to the fore of pentacle four of yeah making this you know a lasting union having a foundation to build upon okay these two flipped out yeah eight of pentacles some of you are in school you're working spending a lot of time alone like i said you still have a connection to someone and you're trying to keep that some of you are long distance Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're still fighting for it. Or someone's fighting for the connection with you. But it, it seems as if you're growing. You may be growing in a different... Uh, going in a different path. You or the other person. Seven of Wands. Someone could be standoffish about the relationship, the marriage, the business contract. Someone's style of handling things, of going about things, is to be defensive the world card you feel like you need to um, come to a cycle you also feel like you've come to a level of maturity in regards to um, life uh, you may say that I, I'm far along or I should be further along than I was a year ago the world talks about one cycle a year yeah the tower here you may want to bring that down there is no foundation you feel like you guys have been rebuilding rebuilding trying to put energy effort time into it and, it, it, and you've got nowhere. It could be with a fixed sign, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. One more card for you guys. It came out in reverse. And it, none of these cards should be reversed. The hangman in reverse. It says that you, you've you already come into seeing this in a new perspective. You've already given this a chance. You are coming out of that hangman status where you feel like you need more illumination. You need more... Uh, you need okay more psychic uh yeah more psychic illumination you're coming out of that you are now you have already made the decision to to start the upheaval of with the tower here you're making permanent decision or you have already made a permanent decision one you can't go back on yeah maybe with the maybe with the piscean aquarius the high priestess here maybe in regards to what it is you do every day your habits 
It may be even in regards to uh, sexuality, duality. You may, some of you may be bisexual. Some of you may feel like you would rather, you fill in the blank, be with. Um, that's what I'm hearing, would rather be with. Um, and that could be by yourself also. Some of you feel like you, um, you, you would have been far along if you if you could get this person. Yeah, then the food cards com comes out as I talk about sexuality. Um, you may you feel like somebody may have stunted you. You may you feel like you could be further along if you just commit to one path. That could be in sexuality. That could be in money. That could be in relationship. That could be in anything. It says that you need to get under some spiritual guidance, some mentorship, some yeah uh some spiritual guidance mentorship take some feminine advice from someone that you trust um in order to make better decisions it looks like you're going to go on your own path and be the fool start anew start over away from okay one more card for yeah the page of pentacles you could be learning more you could be wanting to expand increase your career advancement. You could be wanting, yeah, just more so about learning, doing something foundational, right? So these may be messages of doing that. You may be giving these to someone. You're saying to yourself, to other people, I, myself, me, himself, this is a him also. Uh, you're doing something that's more foundational for you. Wow, taking a lot of action, maybe in regards to children too. Maybe you have two children. You have two young adult males, or you just have two children here. You're trying to um, get them to do better. You're trying to get them to go a new path. Someone may be telling you, giving you good news in regards to, or you may be giving someone else good news, a good message of, of, of good cheer. More like motivation comes in. Also, it's conditional. Maybe someone is telling you, well, if you do, then I'll do. If you say, then I'll say. If you go, then I'll go. It's, um, you know, the if-then statement is conditional. All right, so cancer women, yeah, it looks like you're making some real life-altering choice in regards to love and career uh, or love over career or doing something that you love to do in regards to your career. But it looks like you've been here before. The universe is bringing this back to you. Either the career path, the person. And now it's up to you to make the choice. Okay? The universe has done its work. Alright. So, that's where my, my cancer women are. Let's see where my cancer men are. Where are my cancer men? Where my cancer man? What do you have to say to the cancer man, Lord God? Thank you, thank you, thank you for your messages. Four of air. Some of you are taking time to think something through before you make some real solid decision in regards to maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or something in regards to your foundation, your home, your children, motherly energy, the mother of um, your roots. Your, your foundation. Yeah, night of water. Maybe you want to extend an offer of love. You're falling in love with. You're just head over heels for. Very emotionally inclined toward or for. You fill in the blank there. Um, sometimes this is Aquarius in love. But we're, this is the Cancer Man. So this is possibly you. Eight of air, but feeling stuck, tied, bound to the illusion that you can't move, that you can't do. Or this is you thinking heavily about maybe an air sign that you can, you want to have sex with, you want to have a level of intimacy, intimacy with, that you want to merge with, that you want to, there's a bit of mystery about this person. You also are holding a bit of mystery about yourself too. There might not be communication here. There might be separation. Uh, you, you're constantly thinking about this person. Constantly. Um, you're thinking about this person. Not able to get to or talk to or do something with. Six of Earth. You may be thinking about giving apology to. Balancing the scales here with this person. 
leveling with them in some regard. This person, you could see them in, in their own life getting new career opportunity or this is you cancer you're expanding the career opportunity for yourself the will just popped out says that something's coming to a close something's coming to the culmination of we know that the will governs the tens the tens are ten of cups ten of pentacles ten of swords ten of wands so it depends on how the will is turning for you do know that this is a time of luck but keep in mind, you don't control luck. You don't tell luck how to show up in your life and what you want luck to do. Luck just shows up. Okay, I'm here. Luck be a lady. <laughs> That's funny. Um, page of Water. Once again, maybe there is someone showing up. This is the opportunity for you to close the door or to come to the culmination of. This is the opportunity for you to, to give message to someone that... This is what I'm hearing conditional messages too. You all, you're also, your psychic abilities are heightened here in regards to maybe the opposite sex. You're being a lot more sensitive, artistic, creative. Some of you haven't had sex with. I don't know. You fill in the blank. Um, so, yeah. Four of water. Yeah. This is opportunity for you. Some of you feel like you're going to miss the opportunity because you're already involved in. You have two fours here. You already have a foundation laid. One where you may be bored, discontent, dissatisfied. But you're not moving. Not right now. Let's see what's going on. What's going on for the cancer male? Two of Earth, once again, weighing up two very real options. A decision has to be made. So you've got to cut something out. It will no longer be an option. Um, this is a love affair. This could be a business relation, business contract, business deal that may not be favorable. You got a lot going on around you also. You have so much to weigh up. Weigh up the cost. The cost of some of you have already in something some of you are already giving to two parties some of you that you feel like there is not room there's not room enough maybe monetarily or yeah this may be in regards to your work you may be having a lot to do at work then you go home you got a lot to do at home but you're thinking about wanting something or someone else not having enough room not having enough time for nine of fire but it says keep going at whatever you're trying to accomplish whatever you're trying to do you're at the brink of you also could be looking in on someone or someone looking in on you someone's care cur curious about can't talk today curious about what's going on with you it says protect what you have um, be courageous believe in yourself believe that you can have whatever it is you want It says that maybe you may be going after a very independent person or you're trying to create some very independent nature about yourself. Six of air. Yeah, you're trying to move on. You're trying to have more peaceful and better times. Positivity to come. You're trying to make the choice to have peace with maybe a turbulent situation, a dramatic situation, a love affair, a, a situation that was all only a it was built on romance you're trying to either move it forward you you might be asking for forgiveness the emperor is coming out you could be an older cancer male or you could be dealing with someone who's older cancer or um another four some of you are married some of you are in something that you've been in for a very long time some of you, you can't see a way out. You're being very stern, very stoic in regards to trying to, three of air, I knew it, trying to divorce, separate from a situation that no longer fulfills you. One that you feel is at a stopping point. There is no creation here. There's no creativity here. It is, it is uh, divided. Your heart, your mind is divided. 
it might be in regards to another person place or thing you don't see you don't see how you can get out though maybe from an air sign gemini libra aquarius everybody's here okay uh right and then the hierophant comes out uni unity you may be trying to divorce from a marriage from some long-standing you uh union unity right you may be faced with traditional viewpoints which which make you stay in a situation you can't see a way out you need to talk to someone who's like-minded like yourself you might need to talk to someone who went through whatever you're trying to go through you may need to weigh up the cost the two of pentacles what do you really want have you answered the question you may need to three of swords you may need to really look at past relationship you may also be concerned worried about what friends family siblings neighbors will say you also may be engaging in something that was learned from early childhood my father did it so my mother did that i'm did this and my brother and you may have those types of type of hang up cancer ten of water yeah definitely you may um have some division within your home within how you feel the tens are about masculine energy also reputation fame fortune long-term goals you may have fulfilled something to its culmination here with someone else and now you're feeling like you want to move on the magician i knew it was coming up it came out in the off camera it says use play your cards right you know how to do this maybe in regards to a queen of earth capricorn virgo taurus someone who's concerned about home someone who could be a homemaker or could be the working mom someone who is smart smart with money could be a business owner who cares about his or her body who is uh i'm here plant-based i don't know what that's about anyway um you are the magician you can make whatever you want happen life is magical magic is nothing but the prayer behind the doing behind the manifestation let's get to it you can make it happen cancer male okay it's all about how you play your cards though um the fool the magician and then the high priestess high priestess is about planning maybe you need to get to the planning stage pre-planning secret planning okay so what's the best the course of it best blah 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 right what is the best advice for the cancer woman best advice for the cancer woman cancer woman looks like she's fed up with someone something it's not moving forward it's not yielding her any i'm here profit all right ten of swords popped out wow the world again cancer woman will be dealing with a fixed sign the sun, it says that some new friendship, new union will bring you a lot of happiness and contentment, wish fulfillment is here. Wow. And then the nine of cups, definitely what you wish for, it can be here. What you feel like you are without, what you feel like you are, that is not in your life, uh, can could possibly come into your life. Make a wish. It could very well come true. Um, maybe in regards to you being the working mom maybe in regards to your home maybe in regards to uh, luxury maybe in regards to your health um, just stability all all together make you more rational and a stable decision in regards to um, you could be in school you could be this says put more energy effort time into yourself the eight of pentacle it says that the merger firstly needs to happen with yourself as you're trying to merge with someone else and you're trying to make something happen for yourself with someone else alongside something or someone else do for yourself first put yourself first know that you can make it happen for yourself 
as long as you continue merging with someone else, you'll always have to do the demerging, not even a, <laughs> a word, or you have to do the unraveling or the untangling of life. When you merge, you do this, right? And when you're done with this person, you got to break apart and try to unravel and undo. So it says, Cancer Woman, be careful of jumping to the next situation too too soon, too quickly. Um, merging with another person, okay? Uh, person, place, or thing. Okay, uh, there we are with that. Okay, what is the best advice for the Cancer male? Best advice for the Cancer male. Best advice for the Cancer male. I'm hearing grow a pair. Ooh, that was harsh. I'm hearing strength card. I'm pretty sure it's going to come out. Um, four of Pentacles. The best course of advice for the Cancer male is the Four of Pentacles. Um, stay in charge on top of. Um, maintain your status by way uh some of you may need to save you may need to look at your finances especially if you are um thinking of divorcing the or there's an impending divorce or there might be something that you need to pay out um keep your plans to yourself too everyone doesn't need to know what you're doing and how you're doing it right three of wands it says make long-term plans Think about expansion of, you may, it, it might take money to do this with this four pentacle. The best advice for you is to still make plan, some, in, in regards to yourself, you see how he leaves the two wands behind, and that may be a partnership or a connection. Make plans for yourself even in the midst of opposition. The three wands in the plan cards deck talks about opposition. The opposition here with this three of wands would be friends, family, siblings, neighbors, speaking about you maybe moving on, making plans for yourself, expecting uh, better, larger, greater for yourself. Hmm. Nine of Wands. It says um, you need to rest and dwell in the in the mindset that something about independent thinking, in, independence, uh, culture, being cultured, learning. You need to rest and dwell in the fact that this might be very 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 near the end this is a nine uh, evaluate the situation from afar stop talking about the trouble and the jealousy in your relationship and evaluate where you want to be what you want to do you can't just rest and dwell in it for the rest of your life oh but you can but that's not a life i would want to live but hey by all means have at it um temperance the queen of wands yeah it says that there's some very wealthy healthy relationship marriage that could be happening for you or in your social circle maybe with another woman Someone who's outside of, someone who you're looking in on or they're looking in on you. Someone who you find fiery, charismatic, outgoing, funny, smart, sexy, sultry, attractive in every facet. Someone who, she could be a business owner, she could be an entrepreneur in, in some sense, yeah. She, she does her own thing. She's able to take somebody's man. It's about the keeping though, right? It says that you'll find balance with this person. Could be dealing with Sag too, Sagittarius. The Temperance card is directly related to the King of Cups and we're talking about 
cancer man. All right. Says that you need to make rational, logical decision in regards to whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, make the best decision for everyone involved. And know that you made the best decision for everyone involved. It's like you can walk away from anything knowing that you did your best. Okay. Uh, this also says that you, whatever you're touching right now, is going to turn to gold. Whatever you want, whatever it is you desire. But you have to make the decision. You also have to move forward. Yeah, five of wands. Um, Give me one more card on the five of wands. There might be inner conflict. There might be too much opinion around new love, new marriage. And some of you, the star card, I'm going to say that. Some of you want to be some other person's husband. You feel like your path is somewhere else with someone else someone's trying to bring you to a better way of living a better way of existing a higher way of existing cancer male you may have failed to take to the 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 enlightenment the uplifting now you now there's inner conflict either about your returning to them or about new love with them or new marriage with them could be a uh, Aquarius it could be anybody don't get too hung up on the signs um wow then the hair higher friend then I said I said you I said let me pull more cards you definitely want to marry this person you definitely see there's a spiritual aspect and component within your relationship within this person this person was trying to take you to a higher level of being higher way of being higher way of being maybe an even more mature mature way of being maybe even some traditionalism because it looks like it's very liberal in your home life in your home setting or that there's opportunity for you to do exactly whatever it is you want to do when you want to do it right the devil card popped out some of you dealing with capricorn um some of you are in fear of some of you feel stuck and tied, bound to a marriage, um, uh, a union that you've been in. Some of you, there's a codependency aspect. Something about you needing to independence, independent thought, independence. Either you or they or whomever you're stuck to or tied to. Says that something is changing in your life, either for the good or for the bad. But whatever it may be. Or however it turns out, make sure that whatever choice you make is not too extravagant and that it leads you down to a dead end or entrapment. Once again, about choices. Yeah. Be careful of trying to be the cheating spouse or making promises that you know you have no intention of upholding because someone is looking in on you. This could be your partner, someone who you're obligated to, someone who you regulate, like they regulate or I don't know, something of that nature. Then there's you, the chariot, wanting forward movement, trying to move on. But it says be careful, be careful, make a very complex choice make sure you make the right choice not one where you are still being underhanded dishonest unfaithful making promises just to break them because it will be found out okay maybe you want to be found out all right two cards of butterfly oracle advice for my cancer woman Look 
Cancer woman. Oh, forgiveness. Someone may want that from you. Or you feel like, I'm really feeling, looking at this spread. You feel like you need to forgive yourself. You give so good. Uh, you need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive somebody else. Um, let me pull a card on that. Sobriety. Ooh. Yeah, this is self. Healing from the past at the bottom of the deck. You feel like you put yourself in a place where it was like, you're like, man, I could have been so much further along. You know, either in your healing process, either in your money, in your school, with your children, with whatever. Every aspect of your life. And now you feel like you're in the rebuilding process. You yeah, healing. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. And two cards of advice for the Cancer Man. Two cards of advice for the Cancer Man. Motivation. Yeah, you need to have the motivation to take action. As I heard before, grow a pair. Like, come on. Leaving. Woo! Jeez, your cards are popping out, Cancer Man. Leaving. You need to leave a situation. You need to have the motivation to do so. Parental care. Either you're caring for your parents, your parents are elderly, or you are a parent. You concerned about what will go on with the children? How are we going to divide this time, energy, effort? Uh, parental care, okay? A religion and spirituality at the bottom of the deck. It's supposed to only be two, but your cards popped out. Yes, it's like somebody was trying to take you to a higher, higher ground. Is what I'm hearing, like better heights. Cancer man, you just weren't with it. You were. Lower vibrational. It looks like you want to come out of that. Um, all right. Butterfly. Am I going to do an extended read? Yeah, I'll do an extended read. Just to see if you take the advice of the cards. How does it look for you? Also, we will clarify leaving. Motivation, parental care for the cancer man, forgiveness for the cancer woman, sobriety. Maybe that's how you're coping, cancer woman. Drugs and alcohol. I did see the moon here. Maybe there might be some element of, you know, um, mental instability, phases. Cancer woman, within the next few weeks, you might be putting somebody out. I did see family changes, or you may be leaving, or you may be getting put out. I don't know. Look for a sign within the next few weeks. It's like you have an answer. You want an answer to some question. Look for a sign within the next few weeks. It may come to you. Cancer man says recovery. The situation will improve. For the both of you, cancer woman, cancer man, you're ready. Okay. Um, get on the ball. Get on the ball. I mean, it not sounds easier said than done, but I mean, do you want to keep coming to these readings and already knowing what the energy is for you because you you hadn't changed from last month, so and you haven't changed, the energy hadn't changed, right? Anyhow, meet me on the other side so we can clarify what's going on here. We're also going to pull cards in regards to what does it look like with this deck if you take the advice of the cards. Cancer woman is telling you it's time. It's time for rebuilding. It's time for healing. It's time for forgiveness of self. It's time for sobriety. Let's see what your life looks like for yourself and your children. I'm seeing children here. Cancer man, it's time for you to have motivation to leave. Leave a situation that's toxic, that's codependent, independent nature. It seems like there might be some element of recovery. Like you've been... I'm hearing downtrodden. I don't know. Okay. Somebody's beating you up. I don't know. Um, the situation will improve. We'll clarify uh, those two cards also. We'll see how it looks 
if you have the motivation to leave a toxic situation and stop being held up by all of these different excuses for some of you excuses of I'm hearing children either children that are not yours something about your mom somebody's sick I don't know let's go on the other side guys um cancer please purchase if it resonates with you do know it's only two dollars two dollars and fifty cents to get the extended read it's an inexpensive way for you to gain more clarity about your situation if you cannot afford or just not at a place where you want to purchase your own personal reading take advantage of it two dollars fifty cents gets you more clarity it helps the channel also thank you take care many blessings to you cancer i am praying for you pray for me as well see you on the other side